getting set for what should be nothing short of an epic battle. It's the pivotal Game 5 of the World Series between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, this is still anyone's series as we get ready for Game 5. Well, and now you can see they're down three games to one, so we're in that classic must-win territory now. They're going to need to win three straight to take the series. But as a player, you really can't think that way. It's time for that old baseball cliche. you got to take them one game at a time, and that definitely applies right here and now. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2019 Arizona Diamondbacks. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who will get the ball here in this one. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels starting lineup. Thoughts, EK? Anyone stand out? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. Now he's got light tower power. You make a mistake up in the zone, and you better be prepared to see it leave the yard. Nathan Cook will get the ball to pitch against these guys and he'll be given the task of really focusing on keeping these guys off the base pads. That means to be successful, he's got to focus on keeping the ball in the strike zone and avoiding the unnecessary walks. And with a quick breather here, let's bring in a look at the defensive alignment for the Diamondbacks. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, A.J. Pollock brings exceptional defense into the outfield. He won the gold glove in 2015 patrolling center field. There's nothing boring about the way he plays. Very aggressive, shows a lot of energy. You can really go get him with the best of them. Michael Brantley heads for the batter's box, and we are just about ready for some evening baseball. Fans are reminded to stop by the stadium store located on the main concourse to pick up all your World Series souvenirs. Whether you're looking for hats, shirts, jerseys, outerwear, we've got a full line of products to suit your needs. Be sure to stop by tonight.
defensive is sitting in section 121, row H. You're sitting in the Topps lucky row of the game. You'll be taking home a pack of Topps baseball cards. Congratulations from Topps. Underway now tonight as the first pitch is looked at for strike one as we'll get this going a little late at 7.06 tonight. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. A little bouncer. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Chop foul over towards the dugout. The 0-2 delivery. And a fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. Sammy Vaccaro will come forward now, and as you see by the numbers, he's off to a hot start here in the Fall Classic. Yeah, you know some guys just love being on that big stage, and he's been a big part of this ball club all season long, so it's no surprise to me that he's swung a hot bat when it matters the most. One and one, here it comes. Keeping it down one here as it's count. to one and two. Boy, when he's got that thing going good, it just takes a nosedive right at the end. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Yeah, make it back-to-back -back strikeouts here to start the inning. So much for the top of the lineup setting the table. Mike Trout to get his first opportunity here, and if you go by the numbers, it's been a disappointing start to this World Series for him so far. Yeah, he really hasn't gotten on track, and I think you have to give some of that credit to good pitching, but he's really been a bit of a non-factor so far. Two balls, Still one time strike. for him to turn it around, though. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. Hey. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Well, you figure that curveball is going to be an important a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. C.J. Crone will get a shot here, and he's looking to get off the schneid. Hitless in the series so far. And he's an important guy to get going. If they're going to have any chance in this series, you really need to start getting a little more involved. One ball, one strike. And he misses with it, one and one. Ah, gets him to one swing at a pitch strike. down and out of the zone, one and two. Tried ball. to shoot the corner, and he missed it, two and two. Yeah, after that last swing... I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. Rob Refsnyder will stand in, and this pitching staff has kept his bat silent throughout the series so far. Yeah, just two hits for him so far, but you've okay. got to figure he's due. I don't think they're going to hold him down all series long. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Peralta is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting six. Third baseman. Brian Ahn into on. the box here in the top of the second, looking to keep this inning going. Yeah, what? A big roundhouse no curveball in there for strike one. Cool. That's a oh, thing yeah. of beauty right there. That's oh, in two. there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Nathan Cook comes forward to swing the bat, but he may instead be asked to bunt. We'll see how they approach it here with one away. Yeah, and it's not automatic, but the usual thought right here is to stay out of the double play and get those two guys in the spot. Runners are at first and second with one away. And he falls behind 0-2. Very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball.
has to be thinking strikeout here. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Ray Navarro leads it off here. Bottom third of the order is set to go here in the third. And that's oh, swung on and missed for strike one. Shortstop. Ray. Oh, and he's oh, and really two. getting the better of him now. It's strike two. You like what you've seen from this guy so far? I do. No, I, I like where he's ball. putting the fastball, and I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball and changeup. I think he'll do well. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. That Into the windup and Cameron. the pitch. Cameron, Cameron Ruff stands oh in one. as he can't connect here. 0 oh 1. One nope. strike Ball. pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. Swing one and a miss two. on the slurve that time. It's one and two. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Well, right now he is just carving them up. Dare I say, like a Thanksgiving turkey? That's seven strikeouts already, and he's made it look easy so far. Matt Shoemaker digs in with his team still looking at a zero in the hit column. Yeah, they just haven't been able to figure it out yet, but it's still early. We're seeing some pretty good pitching so far in this game. This one's flared out toward left. In there, a base hit. Leave it to the pitcher to come up with their first hit. I think even he can't really believe it. First pitch of the at-bat. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Now he's got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around the score. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here. Sammy Vaccaro will get us started here for the Angels with the excitement waiting on deck in the form of Mike Trout. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he's retired here, one away. Boy, they are just making life easy for this guy. Swinging on the first pitch of the inning. Pretty routine fly ball. It's been a cakewalk here early on. Settling in now, Mike Trout. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. It's a solo home run here for Mike Trout, his second home run of the series, as the Angels are back even now at one run apiece. Here's C.J. Crone now. Up next for the Angels. As he gets a oh good curveball here to start the at-bat, it's strike one. Oh, boy, he is attacking hitters in this one. Oh and Another two. first pitch strike right there. And he's up right around 90% in that category so far. And he Three. punches Three. out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Into the box now, Rob Refsnyder. He flew out in his last at-bat. Rob Refsnyder. First pitch coming. Here it is. Big curveball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. This is the trouble when you're facing a guy like this. You get into a hole, and now you don't know what to look for. He's got four pitches he could turn to here. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Brian on heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Brian off. Swing and a miss oh, on one. the slurve. Strike one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last oh, few innings. 
you got to think about bringing that one right back. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. I think this is one of those at-bats where he just couldn't help himself out there. And we're going to check it out again right here on Showtrack. The thing that stands out right away, well, look at the pitches. Are any of them even strikes? I mean, if you have a little bit more discipline as a hitter, you might be looking at a 3-0 count instead of going back to sit on the bench. Stepping in now, Ray Navarro. As the first Your pitch to him strike. is in there for a called strike one. Yeah. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And, and this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. He's done a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle of the strike zone. Hey, Throw is not yeah. going to be in time to get him, and somehow he's going to wind up with an infield single. And here's a situation where, heck, just make contact. Put the ball in play. You never know. Winds up beating this ball out. Cameron Ruff is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Here's the first pitch to him. Mm, a little tardy oh, there. Went. No balls and a strike. Now he's probably lucky he didn't no make balls, contact on that one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. How about him? Oh, Matt Shoemaker Matt is the batter. Got a Shoemaker. base hit in his first trip. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. And a gorgeous flip to second, and with that, the side is retired. The pitcher, Nathan Cook, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. Textbook sack situation here, guys. Shoemaker comes set. Here's the first pitch. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he's set down one away. Michael Brantley makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. And guys, this leading is the guy you want leading off, leading off this inning. Right. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started. Set the table for a little bit of a rally. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And another foul ball. Trying to strike him out for the third time. The next 0-2 oh, misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. And I think that might have been a little bit of a purpose pitch right there up in the zone. Now I think he's going to come back down with something to try to get that strikeout. Yeah, uh, another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there, not much to speak of at all. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he's no in control, 0-2. And, and with some of these guys, it's like they're in an 0-2 count before they even come to the plate. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Mike Trout will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory. C.J. Crone will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. No ball. That's One what strike. happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and a very even game through six innings. Holds ball. off on the slurve that time, and it's 1-2. One One two. Two. Not too sure how you take that one. Sure, how you call it a ball either. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Action now in the Arizona now bullpen as they have a right hander up and throwing. Wrong. Swing and a little tapper. In time to Go. first, and there are two away. Now batting. Brian Ahn stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Ray Navarro steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. 
two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Davis is going to have room out there as he puts this away to...